On July 10th, 2014, I had open heart surgery. Four and a half hours, including 45 minutes on the heart-lung bypass machine while they stopped my heart, fixed it, and made it work again. So why am I smiling? Because I'm here to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any warning. One night, I was rushed into the ER with an erratic heartbeat. By the next morning, I had this diagnosis of, ready for this, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, HOCM, H-O-C-M. God, have an acronym for everything, right? It's a disease where the left ventricle, which is awfully important, uh, gets thickened, the wall gets thickened, and that's not good because that's the, one of the four chambers that pumps oxygenated heart uh, blood to the rest of your body. That's also the disease that you read about in the papers when young athletes drop dead on the playing field. Yeah, that's the one. A year prior in 2013, I had a very different experience with another disease. I went for my free screening mammogram. And some precancerous cells were found. And they were removed. I had a small surgery. It was a great screening and preventive measure. Why was it free and why hadn't I had any screening for heart disease? Well, there's a reason. It took two acts of Congress to get mammograms where they are today, universal. One, it, uh, law passed in 1992, and the other was the ACA, which extended mammograms. But here's the backstory. In 1963, a study had concluded that mammograms could save lives, could reduce deaths from breast cancer by one-third. But it wasn't until 1992 that they became ubiquitous. Many lives were lost between 1963 and 1992. Something else caught my attention. I know it's gonna be hard for you to believe, but I'm on Medicare. <laughs> and when you're on Medicare, you get a booklet that is called the Preventive Services Guide, and it's very nicely organized alphabetically, A, B, C, D. So when I got to B, I saw breast cancer screening. Every woman, 40 and over, gets a free mammogram once a year, and there's a little line that says, all women are at risk. And I thought about it, I said, oh, because we all have breasts, I guess. <laughs> then I turned the page to cardiac screening. And I'm thinking, well, we all have hearts, so let's see what's going on here. <laughs> All of us, even, even men, have hearts. <laughs> it's true. So <laughs> the, only, the only test for heart disease was a blood test for cholesterol and fatty acids. Now, <clears throat> I found out later that 50% of people who have heart attacks have low cholesterol. So I'm thinking, mm, this is not going to be too handy. <laughs> and then I also found out that my disease, hokum, is an inherited disease. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I was lucky, I was damn lucky, to have that free mammogram, life-saving, and a life-saving heart surgery. But not everybody is that lucky. Heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in the United States. More than all cancers put together, 10 times more women die of heart disease than they do of breast cancer, which is a plus for those who have advocated for breast cancer, but terrible for cardiac health. 
that's one in four people. So in this auditorium of 240 people, 60 people out there could die of heart disease. This is what a heart attack looks like. One, okay. two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, 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 nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 21, 22, 23, 24, A major heart attack lasts only minutes. One moment the heart is beating normally, all four chambers moving in that familiar rhythm. Suddenly, a coronary artery blocks. The flow of blood to the heart stops. The heart starts to beat wildly. There are now only moments left to save the victim's life. 11, And if that attempt fails, starved of oxygen, the heart dies. And so does the victim. That was a clip from an amazing documentary film called The Widowmaker. And they, it's shared with us by courtesy of Oxford Heart Film and the Irish Heart Attack Awareness Program. What we just saw was death, the simulation of a heart attack and death caused by cardiovascular disease. Atherosclerosis is hardening of the arteries. And that happens when plaque and other materials accumulate in the coronary arteries. When a piece of plaque blocks off and forms a clot. It can stop the flow of blood in that artery. And that's what we saw here. But we have technology that can find that blockage well before a heart attack. The Familiar term is the heart scan. It's also the coronary artery scan. And it's done by a machine that was invented by a team, a physicist and a cardiologist out in California in the early 90s invented it. And they started with an x-ray machine, but x-rays just take single images of parts of our body. But the heart's beating. So they came up with a way to speed up basically how the x-rays are taken, and they're just thousands of images are taken. When you have a coronary artery scan, first of all, it's only $100 to $150 for a scan. It takes a few minutes, it's non-invasive. By the way, a mammogram, if you have to pay for it, is about in the same range, $100 to $150. You get a score from zero to 400, if your score is 100 or above, you are considered very much at risk for a heart attack within the next three to five years. Now, you can start therapies for this, medicines, lifestyle changes, and so on, and sometimes, yes, you do end up in surgery, but you can start early on when you get this information. So who's getting these heart scans? Professional football players, professional basketball players, our US presidents. Ever since former President Bill Clinton had the emergency bypass surgery in 2004, all the presidents get it. Our astronauts get heart scans. Sure, there was an incident in space a cardiac incident, and from then on, NASA has been paying for uh, scans for astronauts. But what about you and me? And it's only $100 to $150. Insurers 
when asked why they aren't jumping forward to pay for this, they say, well, every three years, our customers move from one company to another. So we just push on that risk. Why even pay for the test, push on the risk, push on the consequences? And in the medical community, there is controversy about the heart scan. Those who are in favor of it, like me, call it a mammogram of the heart. Those who are not, uh, oftentimes are making a lot of money on other procedures, stents and surgeries. Preventive medicine and screening is not a big money maker. I want to tell you a story about Gloria. Gloria is a real person. Gloria had started in our volunteer group for Women Heart at our local heart hospital. We visit women heart patients, we have support group meetings, we go out and speak in the community. Gloria had been in the army, in Iraq, in the desert, living in a tent, her job was managing maintenance of vehicles and equipment. One morning, she woke up with heart attack symptoms, staggered out of her tent. Her platoon got her airlifted to Bahrain to be stabilized, and then she was flown to Germany for open heart surgery. She had bypass surgery. She had coronary artery disease, which is the number one killer of our number one killer. She fought really hard and worked out and ate well and so on so she could finish her last two years of active duty in the Army, and she did it. She retired, and she came to live with us in our community. As a volunteer, she was pursuing her master's in health education, just a really terrific person. She and I had been texting back and forth, and all of a sudden the text said, I'm in the ER. And then she was in the CCU, the critical care unit for cardiac patients. Gloria died a month ago. She was just in her 50s. When it doesn't make me sad, it makes me mad. How can we send our military into harm's way without having proper heart disease screening, or our, our first uh, responders, or our teachers, or our nurses. Well, and how about just you and me? There is only one state in the country, Texas, that passed a law to require that insurers set aside $200 every five years for cardiac heart scans. Representative Rene Oliveria, on the day he came back from coronary uh, artery bypass surgery, <laughs> introduced that bill, and he got it done. But we don't have any federal legislation yet. We don't have, and the other states, some are in motion, but we only got one in red there. So technology without advocacy can't go that far. But we can do something about that. My doctors and nurses gave me 20 more years of my life, maybe more. My women heart sisters gave me the purpose for my next 20 years. I ask you to join with me to help save lives with mammograms of your heart, your heart, your heart, your heart, your heart. Thank you. <laughs>